record. Record. That's funny. Okay. So I've got a couple of questions written here, um, and it's all part of one question. And when you do your worksheet, your last worksheet today, you'll see that it's it's very, very similar to one of those questions. And I've posted answers as well for you. Basically, it's taking a look at um, the sine and the cosine and everything, kind of continuing on with what we were talking about this morning. Um, it's as we move around a circle, then different things happen with the sine, the cos, and the tan of the angles. And we've never really considered that before because we've only ever thought about them between zero and 90 degrees. And so if we draw a picture for ourselves of what this first example looks like, then the best thing to do is to start with a full grid and then think about where would the point negative 12, five land on the grid? Well, negative 12, that's our x value, so we have to go to the left by 12. And positive 5 is our y value, so we have to go up by 5. And so probably somewhere around here, I would say, would be the point negative 12, 5. And this is just a sketch. This is not scientific on graph paper or anything else. OK. So if that's 12, 5, and I know that everything in trig means make a triangle, then this is what my triangle in standard position is going to look like. It's way over here in quad two. And keep in mind, that's the S quadrant, right? With our cast rule, we have C, A, S, and T. So that's going to come in handy in a minute to remember that that's the sine quadrant. So that answers part A, which is sketch the angle. There's our angle, okay? Now we can actually put more information on this triangle because not only can we sketch the angle in the proper spot for where it has to go, but because we know that we went left 12, we know that the X side, the length of it is negative 12, right? Because we went 12 steps over. And the same with the Y, we went up five. So that tells us that the vertical side of our triangle is five. So now we have a Pythagorean triangle, a right angle triangle that has two sides filled in. We have five and we have negative 12. And if we wanted to find the hypotenuse, we could go C squared equals five squared plus negative 12 squared like that. And if we keep working that all the way down, then negative 12, when you square it, it's going to become positive 144. So the hypotenuse is always going to be a positive length. So here we have c squared equals 169. And that means c is the square root of that. And the square root of 169 is exactly 13. So we actually even have this side of the triangle. We have all three sides. OK, anybody got any questions? for me at that point. Are we okay so far? Okay, so each one of the questions that you today you do today is going to require you to be able to work out the length of all the sides. And one of them you're gonna to have to use Pythagorean theorem for, okay? So now that we've got all three sides filled in on our triangle, that's where we move over to part B, because part B is using the phrase, find the exact value of our um, sine theta, cos theta, tan theta. So exact value can mean that we're using the special triangles like in lesson two, or exact value can mean that we know the length of all the sides of our triangle and we just have to write it as a ratio. So what I mean by that is if I wanted to know sine of theta for this triangle, then I just need to take the opposite over the hypotenuse. And the opposite is five and the hypotenuse is 13. So that's the exact value of sine of theta. If I put it as a decimal, it's not exact anymore because it would be like a repeating decimal or a non-terminating decimal and it would need to be rounded off. And so five over 13 is an exact value. And that's really important a lot of times, like especially 
for instance, if you were working for the Chinese Space Agency and you wanted to work out where a rocket was going to return to Earth, like on the weekend, you want to be a little more accurate than they were. Um, they just kind of yeah. And so when you want specific exactness, then you have to not round off. And this is the only way to get an exact value, okay? So if I do the cosine the same way, I'm just gonna need the A over H sides this time. And the A side is negative 12 and the H side is 13. So you see how it just kind of naturally turns out that cosine is negative over in that quadrant because that side for adjacent was negative, right? The X value is a negative. So it turns out to be a negative value. And the same thing with tan. If I do tan of theta and I have opposite over adjacent, then opposite is five and adjacent is minus 12. And again, I'm gonna get a negative value for tan, but I knew I should because sine is the only one that's positive in that quadrant. And so the other two guys are negative and we have exact values because we have the lengths of the sides. Okay, now I didn't ask it here, but on the worksheet, it will also say now find theta. And so to do that, you're just going to do it the way you always have. You're just going to use any of those three, the sine, the cos, or the tan, and do the inverse of it. So if I do sine inverse of 5 divided by 13, and I put that into my calculator, that's going to give me a value pretty close to, oh, I don't know, 25 degrees or something like that. I don't have my calculator here. But we're doing it the same way as we always have. It's just using the sine inverse once you have the sine or the cos or the tan for your ratios. So this is exactly like one of the questions on our worksheet today. And I just wanted to give you guys a quick little lesson on how to do it. I'm also recording this and I'm going to put the video of this on our homepage so that you can watch it if you get stuck on the worksheet. And don't forget, I'm also here on Zoom for you guys to drop in. It actually went to sleep and turned itself off on me again. Um, after 40 minutes, if it's idle and nobody has, has um, sort of come into the room and used it, then it goes to sleep. So um, I'm encouraging you guys to pop in and keep my Zoom open. Does anybody have any questions for me about this? 